And greetings, greetings, everybody. Welcome back. Happy Monday. It is I, Varmithrax, here to play some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Thanks for joining in for some uh, further adventures in the Cataclysm. In the Clism? Oh, what's going on? Let's see. Discord notifications are out. <laughs> Everything's working over there. Yeah, I think we're all set. Okay, what was going on? How you doing? Oh, yeah, let me make sure my chat command's working. Challenge, settings, mod list. Working, working, working. Cool. Oh, uh, where were we? <laughs> A few days goes by and I've totally forgotten where I was. Oh, that's right. We were heading southeast. Go southeast, young man. That is where we're going. Hey there, the General Happy Pie. Well. <laughs> the books must flow. I'm assuming that's a Dune reference. <laughs> the spice must flow. Uh, yeah, one more. I'm really, really hoping we get to this refugee center this episode because... I'll change the challenge to finding two refugee centers if we go too much too much further. <laughs> it's not going to devolve into yet another Vorm just drives around for 12 hours trying to find the one last thing that Map Gen just keeps refusing to show him. So we're not going to let it devolve into that. So if we don't find the refugee center today, if it turns into a an all-driving episode, then we're going to bag the whole third refugee center idea and we're just going to switch over to... Uh, the final part, digging into one of the Transcoast Logistics locations. And uh, we'll call this one good. At a certain point, challenging becomes tedium, and I, uh, I'm i not all for that. So, zoom out a little bit to bring this back up. Uh, we're still obese. We're still on our no-food diet. <laughs> we're on an aqua diet. Uh, hit points are fine. Speed's fine. Uh, no issues. I think we got most of our, our skilling up done. Didn't we get, uh, I think we got, what else did we get? We got electronics that we can push further if I need to. Thought we got something. Oh yeah, we got SICP, so I need to finish pushing computers up. We're, we're, st oh, we're stuck on that one actually because of, uh, I need a hack pro. That's it. We need hack pro in order to practice the computer skill up to eight. So we're going to keep an eye out for Hack Pro. Uh, I think most everything else we got, right? The mid-level health book, I think, is the only one we're missing now. So yeah, so we'll keep an eye out. Ah, oh, Barney the Twelfth. <laughs> Still makes me laugh when I see that, the Twelfth. Ah, oh, howdy howdy everybody in chat. Billowed up. General Happy Pie. Coro Chime, Vendidurt. Welcome, everybody. Let's see. I didn't, uh, I did update. We're on the most recent experimental. I'll mention that. Uh, the only change I noted was that apparently we now have a bunch of wrenches. <laughs> Somebody that really likes wrenches went in and uh, has changed the whole wrench dynamic. We now have like six different wrenches. Uh, of different types and abilities and usages so be on the lookout for new wrenches as we drive around uh, they should be popping up as we hit new areas so new wrenches i don't know if it's gonna change the likelihood of finding it could be good could be bad because if it's just six different types of wrenches but the loot tables are all identical and it's just gonna pick where before it said here thou shalt, shalt be 1% chance of a wrench. I don't know if that means that is still the same. And when it says wrench, it then says, all right, now we're going to roll dice. One of these six types is going to appear. Because that could be a problem. That could dilute out getting the wrench of the bolt turning quality that you need. <laughs> so I don't know if wrenches are now going to be, if they've changed the loot table so that we're going to see more wrenches and have the variety. Or if it's the same total number of wrenches, but now they're divided into six different categories, some of which will do what we want and some of which may not. 
So I'm somewhat concerned every time I see a change like that, but I, I don't know yet. We'll, we'll get in-game and we'll find out what happens and uh, we'll go from there. I, I withhold judgment until I actually see it in-game. Yeah, apparently the wrenches, there. I think their combat ability went down because I, from, from the brief posting I saw, they, they, they ish, the person that did it uh, listed like statistics for the weight and the density and the <laughs> all that kind of information, so I don't know. We'll see. This game's got so, 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 so many items. <laughs> it's just getting worse, better, depending on your viewpoint. <laughs> oh. Hey there, Silver FF. Just wanted to say I recently discovered the game and have been watching your videos ever since. Massive thanks for the clear and amazing resources. You're very welcome. Glad you're finding them useful, helpful, enjoyable, or horrifying if you've managed to jump into the Quick Slip series where I demonstrate all the ways not to play the game and, uh, you know, how to fail horribly. That's one of my favorite series is the Quick Slip series. Vorm being stupid. <laughs> And sometimes it's the game being stupid and Vorm just laughing as horrible things happen to him. Good stuff. Good stuff. I really enjoy it when the game just, just kicks my ass nowadays. It's always a joy. Have to check that one out. Still learning. <laughs> it's a fun one. Most of them are pretty short. <laughs> You'll get a couple chuckles. And a few uh, warnings. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. Welcome to the live stream. This is, uh, this is where the magic happens. <clears throat> you get to observe the car wreck literally sometimes as it happens. And here's a clue. Anytime Vormithrax says, hmm, that means pay attention because he's about to die. <laughs> or he thinks he's about to die. Anytime I say, hmm, that, that's always a clue. Something interesting is going on. I have had my attention peaked. Okay, Barney the Twelfth. Let's get things rolling. I think we've uh, we've we've delayed long enough. Let's. Uh, I don't think there was anything particularly I had to remember right now. We we have the one book, and I think there were a few items we were looking for, but mostly we're just trying to drive southeast. So we're trying to get out of. If you're just joining in and you haven't followed the rest of the series, we're on the hunt for a third refugee center. We've found two. We're trying to find the third to complete our primary objective for this challenge, which is to uh, distribute the knowledge of mankind to the other survivors. Uh, so we're trying to go southeast as much as possible. We're trying to get out of the areas we've already explored. That's one refugee center, and then there was another one off to the west. So we have to get a certain distance away before another one's going to show up. Only one refugee center per large overworld map section appears. So we have to get out of the map sections we've already been in. So it means a lot of driving. So I'm just trying to go as far southwest or southeast as I can in order to get that distance. Then we'll start kind of doing a spiral pattern, trying to find that uh, third refugee center. Uh, and that's kind of where we're at. So we're, we're basically just, uh, we're just driving. So vehicle is in, oh, that's right. I still need glue, <laughs> glue and duct tape. Can't believe I still need glue and duct tape. What was the deal with duct tape? I don't have the recipe for duct tape. And I don't have uh, applied science. That's the other one I was missing. We never, I never got the uh, uh, chemistry for kids book, whatever that one is. I forget the name. But uh, there's like an applied sciences book for kids to get you the first few levels. We don't have that. So, yeah. We're kind of stuck in that regard. Uh... I think glue is the same. Well, we could do bone glue if I sit down and actually, you know, get a bunch of bones. I might do a little bit of that. I was hoping to find duct tape, but duct tape's been surprisingly missing from from houses. Used to be you'd roll into a few houses and you'd be rolling in duct tape, but now I'm having a really hard time tracking down duct tape for some reason. So I don't know if somebody fiddled with things or what. Well, let's get driving. Oh yeah, how much gas we got? We doing good? Oh, 54? That's not great. Good enough. Uh, we don't care about a derelict property. We're going to hope there's no roadblocks in the, on this road. Don't need any roadblocks. What vehicle was that? Camper van. That's right. I haven't seen many camper vans. Uh, I don't think I need anything with a camper van. 
Uh, for anybody that is new to the game or to, uh, you know, live Vormithrax, don't hesitate to ask questions in chat. I am happy to answer questions. All Cataclysm streams are learning streams. Uh, I'm happy to answer questions, demonstrate mechanics, whatever you need. Give advice. So, don't be shy if you have any questions. And if I don't notice the chat for a little bit, usually some of the other experts in chat will chime in. Or will yell at me. <laughs> I try to backtrack and check chat. Sometimes I get pretty dialed into the gameplay and uh, I might lose track. You can highlight the text with the, uh, the duct tape points, the channel points, if you really want to ask me a serious question. Centipede Matriarch. Did we pass a Centipede Matriarch? There's been a lot of, uh, lot of love. We got Water Striders. How big are the Water Striders? Water bug several times larger than a regular one. Moves are fast and fluid. Okay. It is much slower than you. Yeah, when I'm walking on land, maybe. <laughs> I bet it's faster than me in the water. Okay, so we have a bridge going south. Bit of a road network, small town. Ooh. Small town with a hunting supply store on the outer edge. Uh, we're going there. All right, we're going south. So, let's see who's paying attention. What is the thing I care about in the hunting supply store? Come on, who's first? Who can answer it first? An easy question. I lobbed a softball. <laughs> Mamoiro is correct. Light amp goggles. And if you're into archery, it'd be a good spot for archery, but uh, the absolute primary number one thing I care about is light amp goggles. If I could get me a pair of those, it would really help out. And a hunting supply store is one of the only sources where you can get them reliably. They're very easy to get in the uh, the military base. By easy, I mean there will be a bunch of them on the shelf when you get to the right spot in the military base. How hard or easy it is to get to them is kind of dependent on your world settings and your knowledge of the base and your ability to play. But um, yeah, it's pretty much guaranteed <laughs> both goggles in the military base. But I've, uh, I've, 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 I've ixnayed the military base from my personal allowed to visit list. I, I can't go to the military base. It just makes the game basically instantly over for me because I get everything I might ever want or need and it's too easy. I think it should be way harder than it is for what's there. Do, do, do. What time is it? 7.46. And we're being greeted by a uh, Zapper Zombie and a Night Stalker. That's a that's a fun combo. What do the Night Stalkers look like in this uh, this tile set? Yeah, he's a bit of a boogeyman. Oh, what else we got? Nothing too exciting. Gas station, daycare, apartment tower, and hunting supply store. Still looking really good. This is the... Oh, actually, we need to go visit that farmhouse real quick. I need to visit it from the other side, though. This is where knowledge of the map and the... Lo hey, Mego Scout. We got a Mego Scout. Whoa, three Mego Scouts. Youch. A hatchet. Oh, see? <laughs> they gave me the volleyball book and a baseball helmet, but no actual volleyball. I still need a baseball, volleyball, basketball. I need a ball. And I can't find one. Okay, let's not lead. Oh, man, there's a body sight right over here, too. <laughs> How annoying. I just wanted to roll around to the far side of that one building. Just so I could roll into the farm undetected from this side. For reasons. Uh, they technically can't see me yet, but I think they're coming north and they're going to come up behind me. Alright, we'll do a quick blow through. So the reason I'm coming at it from this side is I just want to get to the top of this silo. There's zombies in the barn. 
and I need to get to that ladder. So I'm trying to minimize the uh, the view from the barn to this position. If I'd come in from this side, they, they usually escape the barn out in this direction because there's a bunch of animals in the pens out here. So usually this is where the zombies show up. So if I came in from this side, high chance I'd be spotted. So I tried to come in quietly from the other direction, not knowing we had a body site and Migos and so on. I'm going to park, just run, get up to the top of the tower because we want a, a view of the area. So that tower is as tall as a radio tower for some reason. I don't know why, but this tower up, oh, see, I can see the corner of the zombies right up there. Amazing. Who knew there were zombies right there? I knew. That's why I came this way. Uppity, 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 uppity. <laughs> nope. Back down. And get the hell out of here. Alright, shift back to... There we go. Okay, we have achieved what I wanted to achieve. We have uh, got a much better view of the map. So, we still have no direct access to the military base, even were I wanting to visit it. Military base next to a FEMA camp. That's pretty good mapping. Uh, we've got an LMOE buried in the forest here. we got another LMOE over here. LMOE stands for Last Man on Earth, by the way. So when it says LMOE shelter, it's Last Man on Earth. It's a survivalist bunker. Really good place to uh, set up a base early game. Where the stage we're in, I don't particularly care about them, but, uh, you know, uh, not much above you on that. The downside or problem is that in order for me, uh, we actually do have a way around. I was looking at this. If I keep going south, I'd have to take the vehicle through this section of town to get out. But we have an alternate. I could come up this way. We could zip by the campground and then come down this way past the mine then out this way. That would keep me from having to go take the vehicle through the middle of town. Town itself, only thing I see of note is uh, two recycling centers. But there's also a Triffid Grove. So that's way too close. We're not going to go in there and mess around. So we're going to have to avoid that. And that's another reason I would not want to try to bring the vehicle down through here. I think the Triffids are going to be spread out at least that far. They're pretty nasty. I don't want to deal with them. So we'll just go around. But first we're going to check out and see if it's possible for us to hit this hunting supply store. Oh, what a nice arrangement. This is the kind of thing, this is the kind of opportunity looting location that I really look for when I'm driving around. we got an electronics store on the outer edge. we got a hunting supply store, a craft shop. Might be a, might be a metalworking craft shop. Um, not much beyond that. I uh, can't think of anything in the house that I might care about, so I think we're just gonna we're just gonna get out of here. I don't need food. I don't need general household stuff. I guess technically I'm still looking for duct tape. <laughs> Flesh Raptor's coming at me pretty quick, and I don't know where the Migos ran off to. Alright, I think we'll be okay right here. Welling goggles, fertilizer, and a jar. Not exciting. A guitar. My Glock 22. Not bad. Root beer. I'll take the cornbread and the salad and the yogurt. Yeah, I don't know what happened to duct tape. I think somebody made a change to the loot table and duct tape's a lot harder to find. Yeah, nothing else I care about. But yeah, again... This is where knowledge of the map is pretty important, knowing where the important points are, where the danger locations are, how to approach cleanly without having to deal with the enemies, all that kind of stuff. It's important things to think about. 
how you approach a situation. All right, let's stay to the outer edge of the town. We'll try to get up to the hunting supply store quietly. Actually, technically, all I want to do is drive by the front and look inside and see if it has the glasses. But I don't know if that's the front or that's the front. You can't tell with a commercial building, at least on this map. Oh yeah, let me let me show the other map. I showed it last week, but let me show it again for folks that uh, aren't aware that this has been added. If you go to options, we're currently using the ASCII map because I still I've been using it for years and I'm just really used to it and I like the density of information. Uh, but you do now have the option to use graphical maps, so you just turn this to true and you pick what map you want. And there's a new one that's been added called Surveyor's Map. That's pretty cool. Because it looks like this, and you can actually see the layouts of the buildings. So this is a house. Yellow are the windows. Light blue are the drain pipes that you can climb up to get on the roof. Red is a stair, so there's a stair down into the basement here in the garage section. Um, this is the hunting supply store, and now I can see the orientation, so I know this side over here is the front of the store. So I'm, I'm getting information from this map that I cannot get from the, uh, the ASCII map because you can't tell commercial buildings what direction they're facing. Residential buildings, the uh, the little green symbol points to the direction that their front is facing, but commercial doesn't follow that same thing. So now I know. If I, uh, if I can get a peek in the front window here, right on one of these shelves right in here is where the goggles might be. And if I drive by and don't see any, we can just leave. If I do see some, then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get approached and get inside the building. But yeah, it's pretty cool, Surveyor's Map. The the terrain I'm not a big fan of, and uh, the buildings are cool. It just slightly is violating my, giving me too much information that my character shouldn't really have <laughs> thing. Um, so I'm torn, I'm torn. I don't mind de demonstrating it for few folks that want to use it. But uh, just like the auto map stuff, I just feel like it gives me a little more information than I should have access to. So I personally, I'm not currently planning on using it. But there you go. Another option for you. Do, do, do. What's the deal with the new road turns? What caused problem? I don't know. I'm not sure what, what's going on there. It'll get fixed eventually. Either under and murder. All right, so. Oh, we got a pack of dogs. Ah, look at them all lined up. You probably didn't notice them yet, but watch. Look at this. <laughs> Whole line of zombie dogs. So the building I want access to is right there. Uh, this is not the metalworking shop. I think this is the glass and pottery shop combo. Probably best if we just drive right through the middle of town, take a look. Should be a pretty easy trip, so I can see. So we'll just, uh, kick the speed back up. Okay, so I sometimes need to get my headlights, because of the, the way the light system works, I won't see all three of the shelves, three, four, however many shelves, so I might not be able to see what I need, so I have to kind of come in and then get an angle where I can shine my headlights in to make sure I get a good look. Currently I'm not seeing the goggles, mess kit, and oh, never mind, <laughs> well there you go. They don't have a graphic for the goggles, apparently. So, light up goggles. Now, now we actually need to deal with some zombies. Okay, well that answered that question. Now, do I play Pied Piper? I wish I had found at least one more 50 cal belt of a decent quantity, then I could just come into this kind of a town and just murderize the whole place. <clears throat> just slowly <laughs> drive forward and just 
pop a 50 cal into every single zombie. Fortunately, I don't have that option. Uh, we could just drive things over, back and forth, back and forth. It's a little messy, and we might get some hitchhikers. It could be problematic. I haven't seen anything really big and nasty yet. Alright, let's kick up the speed and straighten up. Just deciding if I want to go slow and try to pull these guys away from the... I can't go west. i got to make sure I go north or I hook around to the east. North is going to be the best way to pull them away from the area that I'm concerned about. If the dogs come out of that corner there, I could try to pull everything that sees me now north. I'll get out the top and just kind of hook around. Come back and park here. And my options are... Well, I got a few options. I could 50 cal the side of the building. Hmm. I want to make an opening back here, actually. So if I come into here and then shoot the wall to, to, to bust the wall down with a 50 cal. Or I could ram it, but that's a little tight confines for ramming it. But I don't want to move. I don't want to get to it from the front because it's going to take me too much time to try to maneuver all these guys out of the area. So I'd rather just pull what I can out, loop around. But if I shoot the wall here, it's going to pull everything this direction. Hmm. So what to do? What to do? I don't have anything that'll take this door. Well, I do have an acetylene torch. I can take the door down with a torch. But I'm likely to get spotted by stuff right up here. We'll, we'll do it. We'll, we'll, we'll just kind of meander our way north, pull what we can to the north. I'll go as slow as I can without picking up hitchhikers. And then um, I think I'll rotate down, like I said, and we'll see if it looks likely that I'll be able to get up to this door with a torch. If it's no, then I'll 50 cal the wall and we'll do the loop again. That's the plan. That's the plan. Alright, so... Anytime you're driving through a town like this, there were some discussions on my Discord earlier about uh, hitchhikers, and I've been talking a little bit about maneuvering through towns, and it's really critical to get practice at it. And the key things are your speed. Keep You want to be increasing and decreasing your speed as necessary. Only turn, if possible, when there's nothing near you. So turn, make the angle you need to make, but then get back to straight again. The more ortho orthogonal you can move, meaning straight up, down, straight east, west, and avoiding these diagonals that lets enemies step into the vehicle, the better off you are. So you got to monitor your speed. Um, the other critical thing about the speed that you're traveling is your turn radius. You can turn much, much sharper at low speed. So if you have to make tight maneuvering, you got to drop your speed. At high speed, you move too far with each pulse of time to be able to do exact or precise maneuvering. So constantly, you're probably not noticing, but constantly while I'm in towns like this, I'm pumping my speed up, then dropping it back down, depending on what I think is coming up. If I'm going to need to execute a turn, a pivot, um, just, just kind of depends. But if you watch my little speed setting, you'll notice quite often that I'm bumping it up and down for various reasons. Nothing too dangerous in the group that I've got ahead of me right now, so I'm just going to kind of stay at the, the angle I'm at and just pile drive right through them. So I'm going to bump my speed up to 24. It also takes a little bit of practice to understand how fast you need to be going to just, just flatten something, just go right over top of it. If too many things get in front of you and you're going too slow, you can actually grind to a halt. They can actually stop you from moving. And if you're at a dead stop and a bunch of them are on your front bumper, you may not be able to get moving forward. And the same thing can happen in reverse. So if you get surrounded, it's possible you won't be able to get your vehicle moving again. So a lot of things to be aware of. Just takes a little bit of practice. So we're going to straighten out again. I'm actually going to slow down. There's nothing near me that's, that's worrisome. And I actually want to give time for these guys to move up before they lose interest in me. So I'm actually going to honk the horn. Let's get everybody's attention. Who don't I like? I don't like... I don't like that corrosive zombie off to the west. Let's get rid of that corrosive zombie. Let's see if we can get him from here. Or if we just hit the vehicle. 
Yeah, we missed. <laughs> That's all right. That got plenty of attention. Probably more than I wanted, honestly, because now we're going to draw things from further away to this point. So I'm going to take another shot up here so that a new noise point is generated, and we'll pull them up to the north away from the building that I want. Uh, I'm not going to go through the guys to the north on purpose. Not really intending to kill everything. I just want to uh, get the attention. Yeah, let's curve over a little. Pick the speed back up to make sure I eliminate this guy on my bumper. Or at least move him. <laughs> Alright. We're out of town. I haven't made near enough noise. I need to make a new set of noise. Let's, uh... Who do we want to shoot? Let's shoot the, uh, the quick guy here. Now I'm really going to slow down. I'm watching my mini-map to see how the crowd is moving. So I want to pull as many of them north as I can. Oh, Mr. Predator. Hey there, Mr. Predator. With your party hat. This is an opportunity for a hitchhiker. <laughs> the angle's bad, my speed is low, but I gotta be a little cautious. So we'll kick the speed up. That was a little interesting. Uh, I'm deaf because of the, uh, the gunfire. That's why we're not hearing the engine noise or any of the other stuff. I've deafened myself with the 50 cal firing right over my shoulder. Okay, I think that's a pretty good pile. Let's uh, get moving. Leave them behind. <laughs> get shot by a... He's trying to shoot me. <laughs> hey, Migo Scout. Can we tuck in there? Oh, look at that. Immediately met by a bar guest <laughs> and zombie dog still. Where are you going, bar guest? You're heading north? All right, I'll let you. Apparently, we've got... we got dog right there. Where's the pupating? Over on the road. Hmm. Yeah, I'd really like to avoid firing the gun down here to open the wall up. But there, if I try to get to this door, I'm going to have... There's there's no line of sight blocker right here. So there's going to be a lot of potential for things to see me and come, come get me. Hmm. Nope, our guest is standard now. It was never in Magicalism. It's uh, basically a Hulk dog. Most of the enemies now are getting multiple variations. You have the standard, then you have the acid version, you have a bone version, you have a hulk version, you have a brute version, you have an acid version. <laughs> so there's a lot of diversity now with each basic type getting uh, all the variations. Let's see. Let's back up. I'm a little worried about these guys seeing me now. Okay, torch.
Yeah, we're overweight. Overweight! Ah, uh, now we just got spotted by a bunch of stuff again. Yeah, I can never seem to make this work. <laughs> um, if this guy was any better at melee, I just wish he was a little better at melee. Nah, we're not doing a blistered horror in melee. See how many times I end up having to do this. We're gonna have to get some pretty good speed to take out that blistered horror. I'm not sure I can go fast enough to do it. Oh, they get distracted. I don't mind if they get distracted and go north. Perfect. Well, that'll work. I'm not sure what got their attention, but uh, I'm happy for it. Yeah, that's not good. That's further north. They can't see me from where I'm at now. But I think they might be able to when I get to the door. Eek. 56 still. Yeah, we might get away with it. Activate. Torch. Oh, I didn't bring my goggles. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. We had the opportunity. And here comes the uh, grabber zombie. All right, let's do this again. goggles I forget Okay, what do we see? Hunting knife, mess kit, light amp, goggles. All I really care about is the gogs. So here's the other reason why you would come here. Got double barrel shotguns, an M1A, a Ruger, carbon fiber hunting bolts, and a bow stabilizer. Not not the best for the hunting gear or or the weapons. Pretty bad actually. Usually the selection is a little better. Long uh, rifle case, just a leather rifle case. Long rifle case, just a leather rifle case. All right, enemies, you should be able to see me now. Give me my goggles. Get out of here. I got what I care about. Look at that, flawlessly executed heist of the hunting store. <laughs> uh, let's ditch the acetylene torch. Uh, I think that was about it. Reload light amp goggles with that battery. Love it when a plan comes together. Almost zero danger. Okay. Um, 
I think I'm going to take the long way around. I don't want to try to go pushing through that, like I said. If we get an opportunity to loop around and maybe push for the two recycling centers, I might do that. We still don't have a martial art or anything to really help this character out for melee combat. So. Yeah. Okay, another thing crossed off the list. Still love to get some uh, infrared. I just love light amp and infrared com combined. Unfortunately, we're at a stage of evolution where the goggles are only... I mean, they are helpful, but the danger of taking this character into the town at night is so so high because we're still really squishy we have no real armor we have no real martial arts so the danger even if i can see what's coming is really really high we started with extra evolution and it's double speed evolution and we're uh 20 days in on top of the lead time on evolution we had given it uh, no RV again. I haven't seen an RV in the camps in quite a while. Does the RV still spawn? Usually there's a pretty good chance of an RV right here. But I think I've been to like eight or so camps and haven't seen a single RV recently. It's also an opportunity for hunting for, for bows, if you're not aware. There's no associated zombies, unless you got some other site bringing zombies here. It's a good site to get a vehicle. Almost always going to be a working vehicle. This one works. Battery is going to drain out, but uh, technically it's a it's an operating vehicle. Um, and like I said, no zombies. And one of these tents will have a high likelihood of having a, a bow of some kind. Uh, find the zipper. No bow there. I'm not sure if it's a specific tent that has a chance. Usually when I find them, it's in this tent pretty often. Can't remember. Right, where's the zipper? <laughs> oh, there it is. Wood crossbow. Like I said. Wood crossbow's not, in my opinion, a good bow, but you know, whatever. Oh, we got a rural house up there too, do we? I've never seen more than one. And another RV. Hey, RV. I would love to take your wing mirrors. Thank you very much for donating them. I'll put them to good use. Eh, rural house has probably got nothing worth looking at, but we'll check it out. The talking doll. Pantry says cookbook that we already have. Fletcher's friend. All right. Yeah, it's about average for this place. All right, we're out of here. What's the difference between light amp and infrared? So light amp, you know how your vision works at night. You can see X number of squares around you. As the moon goes towards full moon, you can see further and further. The moon provides light. So at the absolute full moon, you have a night vision of about 20 spaces. Whereas with no moon, you have just your base night vision, which usually is two or three spaces on average. Um, the light amp goggles pro provide you basically with 13 spaces of vision at night 
um, regardless of anything else. It'll make the green look kind of, or the screen look kind of greenish. And you have 13 spaces of night vision, basically, which is enough for you to detect enemies coming and, and maneuver accordingly. The difference between night vision and infrared, infrared doesn't give you close-up vision of any kind. It detects things out to 60 range, and it just puts a little blob symbol, a heat symbol on the map to uh, show you that something generating heat is at that location. The benefit, though, is the huge range. It goes up to 60 distance. So you can see that there's something ahead of you when you're trying to maneuver. You just won't know exactly what it is. But combining the two, you can actually wear both simultaneously. So you can have 13 spaces of nice, clean night vision where you can see everything exactly. And you can be able to see out to 60 spaces to see what's out in front of you so you can maneuver accordingly to uh, maneuver around it. So they're both beneficial. Just in different ways. Always better to have both. And they last a ridiculously long time. <laughs> it takes forever to run the battery charge out on one of them. And we did a bit of ramming. I gotta double check my... Oh, so many, so many mirrors. I haven't been into the new mines yet. See, no RV again. I don't know. A couple of those vehicles are probably still working, and there's probably a bow in one of these tents. But we're not doing bows this run, so I don't care. Body sights. Solar vehicle, storage batteries. Oh, there we go. Score. Big score. Show me show me the uh the diesel or the JP8, please. Only 16 liters. I'll take it. And 73 rounds in the browning. Yay! We got another belt. Now I've got a little bit of freedom with the 50 cal. <laughs> Finally, been a while. Okay, that gets us back over 60 liters, so good. We'll go get our 50 cal belt. And what else we got? Scar H20 round mag. Uh, don't need nine mil ammo, thanks. So, this is the uh, mechanized infantry carrier. It's not the APC. But I'll take it. It's in pretty good shape, too. Oh, it's actually drivable. Uh, no, it's not drivable. Doesn't have the... Uh... Oh, never mind. It is drivable. <laughs> it's just one of the wheels. It's got enough wheels to drive. So, yeah. I mean, we could, we could tootle around in a mechanized infantry carrier. We need power. It doesn't have power. So we need to get the battery. But battery's easy. But I don't want it. <laughs> I'm just saying. We got everything we needed. Alright, so now that we got a belt of 50 cal, another 73 rounds, I can be a little more free about uh, eliminating inconveniences. Yeah, that was nice. That's the kind of thing you hope for when you're tootling around in your Humvee in the Cataclysm. Just, just not, not all, a whole bunch of them. Just the occasional APC or mechanized infantry carrier. No need to be greedy. So, we're going to hold off on that eastern track. We're going to go... There's nothing on this side of the town I care about, so I'm just going to roll down this direction. Probably this just loops like so. Maybe the road continues, but we're just going to keep going southwest. As long as I can go south, 
Southeast, southwest, it's all good. Just gotta get as much distance as we can manage. Ah, another FEMA camp. <laughs> populated? Yep, populated. I don't need any more base tools, although I am curious about the new wrenches. But not curious enough to go charging into shocker brutes and gargoyles and shocker zombies. Curiosity does not extend that far. I do want to look at the backside here, though, because I know the design and I know that the shelf of tools is right here. <laughs> so, so I'm going to take a peek. Well, what are you guys doing in there? Metalworking chisel, a hedge trimmer, some some stuff that they broke. <laughs> Scissor jack, bottle jack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing too exciting. Hello, wasp. I don't have any particular need for the evac shelter materials anymore. Although, I guess I should check it. See if the computer here wants to give me a uh, location. I suspect it won't. I think it only does it the one time, and we've already done the first mission for it. Contact us. 278 to the north. Yeah, that's the same one. I don't want northwest. <laughs> Stop sending me 278 northwest. That's where we came from. Body sight. See, once again, it's the sight that I need, but they're not giving me any, any balls. No balls. Look at that. Budget ball. But they don't give you any balls. I can't find any balls. I'm gonna have to hit up a sporting goods store, I think, to find a ball to train uh, Dodge with. I just wanted to verify the FEMA camp road dead ended. Another tow truck if you need an engine crane or a boom crane. Pretty good vehicle to find. These boom cranes got way more common when they added the uh, the, the tow trucks. Used to be you could never, not, not never, but it was hard to find the boom cranes. Now you can find them pretty commonly. You rip that right off the back there and you have your own boom crane you can use. And that's the big one. That's the uh, 40 jacking, 40 lifting quality. Just has to be attached to a frame when to use it. Oop. What was I thinking? I almost left without taking the wing mirrors. Wing mirror. That is a lot of soldiers. Wow, that is a much bigger soldier crowd than I'm used to seeing. Way bigger. <laughs> I don't see, I don't usually see more than like four or five soldiers when I come to these. Why the hell does this one have 30? Huh, that's weird. I don't know what's special about this one. I don't know, we got like 150 or so rounds of 50 cal. Take about three to put put uh, paid to the scale jug and one each for everything else. <laughs> then of course we'd have to kill the other 80 zombies that come from the north from the rest of the, uh, the FEMA camp. I could lure them out and uh, just start running them all over. That'd be another option. That's, uh, that's a lot of potential grenades, and now that I've got the light amp goggles, there's not too many other things that I would care about from all these guys. I don't need their clothing or that kind of stuff. I don't care about the MREs or the, the IFACs. What are you? That's a zombie burner? Really? That seems weird. Huh. Huh? Though, waste time messing with these guys. Um, let's answer that question. 
whoa, that thing's moving fast. By looking at my my list here, uh, I've already got nine grenades. I'm pretty far up on the amount of grenades. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just keep traveling. I don't see a particular need for any of that stuff. Yeah, it'd be a fun place to lob some grenades or fire a rocket launcher into or something. The problem being that I just never have any launcher skill. And uh, explosives scare the holy bejesus out of me. I've had too many occasions where I've been, gotten hit by my own explosion or had shrapnel hit me from 40 spaces away. So I am hyper cautious about explosives. I almost never use them. Controlled situations like tossing a grenade down a hallway to kill a turret, no problem. Anything beyond that, I don't usually mess. You're playing hard mode Cataclysm in front of a live audience. <laughs> it's just not worth the, uh, not worth the danger. Bit too many recorded examples explaining why. Oh, wait a minute. We do have a, we have a connection right over here. So I could work my way back up that direction. Let's do that first. Let's go see if there's any possibility, depending on zombie density, of uh, getting into those recycling centers. 50% item drop rate. I haven't had the best luck getting the, the martial arts manual. Another FEMA camp. I think that should be another thing that should be restricted to one per overworld map section. Doesn't make sense that there's so many FEMA camps in a small area. You'd think like there'd be a FEMA camp for the county <laughs> and everybody should go to this one location. Yeah, somebody suggest that. Somebody, somebody submit a one FEMA camp per overworld map section. That makes a lot more sense to me. And it would cut down a bit on the overwhelming amount of military <laughs> that seemed to be in New England. Uh, we need to get further north, so let's not attract all of these zombies real close to the edge here. Oh, we got triffids. Yeah, we got triffids. I forgot about the triffids. Never mind. We're going back south. <laughs> I mean, look how far we're, we're, we're seeing triffids here in a fairly large concentration, and that's, that's the nest. So, very happy I didn't try to drive through this section. Yeah, that's not worth the danger. Triffids are pretty nasty. We're not going to risk messing with Triffids. Let's go drive by another FEMA camp. Have I ever actually towed a vehicle? I have never once towed a vehicle. I have never seen a need to tow a vehicle. On extremely rare occasions in the distant past, I have wanted to move a vehicle. Like if I was trying to cross a bridge and it was blocking my access to the bridge or something. But I always manage to find alternate routes or some other solution. I've never once felt the need or desire to tow a vehicle in Cataclysm. I have some vague idea of how it works, but I've also seen a lot of reports on how wonky it is. The words of Jane from Firefly. Sure would be nice to have a grenade right about now. Oh, yes, it would. Good old Jane Cobb. A limo? That doesn't look like a limo. That's a, that's a bus. Yeah, school bus. School bus at the FEMA camp. See how populated the front of this one is. Yeah, look at this. I don't know what the difference is. I guess it's a different design. What is that noise? That's the corrosive dart noise? <laughs> that is that is a weird... That's weird. I've never heard that before. Why have I never heard that before? I'm using the same sound pack I've always used. How the hell? 